With summer construction in full swing, it's good. To, it's a good time to take a pause and consider workplace hazards. And here to talk to us about the importance of workplace safety is Nurse Christina Paris. Good morning. How are you doing Hi, today? Hi. Good morning. Doing good. Good. Welcome back. <laughs> so, when thinking about workplace hazards, what are some examples that we should be able to, or that we need to watch out for? Well, it's funny as you and I, you know, we've been waiting. We're sitting here looking around yes. at all the cords and cables and things like that. So that's exactly what you want to kind of look for. You want to look for biological, chemical, mechanical, physical, um, psychological even, and ergonomic safety. So that's a lot of big words, but really it's it breaks down to, you know, what, what does your workplace do? What kind of things could potentially be harmful in your workplace? Interesting. So the, you mentioned psychological one. Can you go more in depth on some, maybe give an example that? Well, psych, so psychological would be, you know, if you worked in a place where, um, it, it's very mentally taxing, oh, I like uh, a, an air traffic controller, for mm -hmm. example. They have to be very focused. They mm -hmm. have to be very awake. So that could be a psychological hazard um, of that particular job. Um, the medical field, we know we're hearing things, you, you know, we burned hear out. people's problems, yeah. right, burned out. But the other things we want to look for, you know, you want to know what your job does. So if you're in construction or forestry or farming or healthcare, you know, that could cause um, some some issues. And, and what does your company do? Is it a paper mill? Are you building roads? Are you um, working around sick patients? Do they give you the proper uh, things to wear, like PPE? Mm -hmm. Are you getting face masks? Do you have steel-toed boots? Are you given respirators, hard hats? Um, hearing protection, scrubs, things like that. And you want to make sure that those things fit mm -hmm. properly because if they're not properly fitted, then they're not doing their job. Mm -hmm. um, are there chemicals? Like what are you exposed to? Is there biologic, bio, bio hazards, spills, clutter? Um, kind of know where your um, safety sheets are, your SDSs, so you know what chemical you're exposed to and you can treat it. Um, is there an eye wash station, an AED? What about poor maintenance, poor lighting, um, frayed cords, electrical failures, breakers, things like that? Distractions in your job. You know, if you're if you're out there and you're working um, in construction and you're looking on your cell phone or something, you know, you could get hit. I mean, there's there's we hear of these kind of accidents in maintenance and mechanical all the time. So um, even in healthcare, if we're not paying attention, um, we could give a patient a wrong medication if mm -hmm. there's a distraction. So you want to remove all those things and try to um, improve your your safety. Understood. All right. And uh, are there any lifestyle practices we can do to protect ourselves from that? Absolutely. You know, keeping yourself healthy for one, getting enough rest. You don't want to be tired, fatigued. Limit your alcohol intake, especially um, if you work in a field where you really need to focus and pay attention. You don't want to be impaired in any way by alcohol or drugs because I, I guarantee that's going to be the first thing they test if there's an accident in your workplace. So you should have a safety manager at your work facility or your human resources so you can ask them. Um, and everything should be covered under OSHA and then your supervisor. Correct. Should. So if you have questions, there are places that you can go to um, to look up and see what your rights are. And mm -hmm. OSHA is is a good one uh, for that. I somewhere in all these papers, I had the others, but there are. Just talk to your human resources. You can Google search workplace hazards and they'll give you all of the national resources and local resources. All right, Nurse Christina, I appreciate you coming in today and uh, be safe out there. That's right.